come here and start it, play around with it, because I don't want it to get rotted. <laughs> I don't want to come one morning and find the engine is rotted. So, yeah, but I must always make sure it's running. I come here, I sit down and I brainstorm, I think, um, plan and see what's the next step. All right. But that's um, a story for another day. But let's talk about the mini tractor. As you can see, there's a tape measure here. I'm actually trying to, to measure to see, you know, um, how long my tractor is going to be. But first of all, uh, a while ago, I bought um, uh, a scrapped power tiller somewhere here in the area, 20, area 49 at the scrapyard. So I bought this um, power tiller. I didn't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just thought uh, maybe one day I'm going to make use of it. And then after doing this vehicle, seeing I was able to ride on the road and up and down, I started thinking, why not build myself a tractor? So I decided to break that power, power tiller and make this tractor. And in fact, I have been planning to build a tractor for quite a long time. So what I've been doing is I've been buying engine, I've got an engine for it. You'll be seeing in the next videos that I'm going to show you uh, when I'm mounting the engine. Because tomorrow we are extending the chassis. So, okay, first of all, before I just, before I confuse you, let me explain what's going on here. Um, the, power, the power tiller has got two gearboxes. The one gearbox is used to drive the, the, the tractor, the small tractor. And the other gearbox is for you to put implements, implements like the tira, the, the things that will be used to work on the ground on the on your farm. So what I've done is I've separated the two of them, and then I've put the the other one, the tira one, the gearbox uh, separated because I will do some projects with it. So I've taken this gearbox, the one that drives the tractor, so that I can use it for my mini tractor. So in fact. It's got a, a forward in the reverse. It's very, very tough to, to change it here because you have to you have to press a, cr a crutch. I think this is the this is the crutch. So when you do the crutch, then you can be able to change the gears. But otherwise, like this, it becomes very difficult and because at the moment I think it's engaged. It's supposed to be in ah. yeah. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah, this is the crutch lever. So when you press the crutch, you can be able to change the gear. So I'm sure this one has got forward, neutral, and reverse. That's why I'm by, I, 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 I took this thing to, so that I can use it in my project. So that right now, I have to, to figure out how do I 
put it together because I've got tractor tires already. So I've got four tractor tires which I'm gonna put here. So for me to be able to build this, I had to build a jig. I'm always talking to young people about jigs and templates that you know when you for you to be able to do manufacturing very easily you need to start learning how to use jigs. Jigs makes your your project much much easier because now this jig, this frame you are seeing over here is the jig where I've mounted this uh, gearbox on. And then the, the advantage of this jig is that in the future when I build this tractor and I want to build another one, all I need to do is go to Tanzania, buy a power tiller there, bring it here, break it to pieces and just put it back in here, put it together. So it's not going to be like every time you're making a tractor that is different, every time you're struggling to make your tractor. Because once I'm able to build a jig and be able to build this tractor, the next one is just going to be very fast for me to build. So, and you never know, people are going to love this tractor, they're going to start placing orders that I want to buy, I'm going to be traveling to Tanzania, buying the power tillers there, and then building them together and making mini tractors for the people. And then um, the orders, you know, just like the way the... the, the the cement block machine did, maybe the orders will just be coming just like that, then I have to be able to do it fast. And also, I can let anybody do it, even though I can train some of my lady welders here how to build up the tractor, which is going to be much easier. So using jigs and templates helps you to make uh, life easier for you when you're doing your project. Right, so what I've done today is I've broken the, the tractor apart, cleaning it up, so I broke it and I cleaned it up, separated all the parts that I, um, I needed and then I, I came up with this uh, gearbox. So I've mounted it on the jig. So I've made sure that I was, I was trying to make this level. So the, the gearbox has got a mounting here, so I put it in. I'm going to build another mounting this side to make it more stable. And then I need to extend the, so this step measure, I'm trying to see how long uh, my, my, my track is going to be because this, this part here is where the wheels are going to be. So you have the wheels here, then there's a seat for me to sit over here. I don't know if I can be able to show you me sitting on there, but, uh, yeah, but I'm going to be careful. So I'll be like, I'll be sitting here. So there will be a uh, seat here, then I'll be driving my tractor, yeah? So I just wanted to show <laughs> You know, engineers, bush engineers, we do things very uh, differently. But, uh, so, so, for me sitting there, um, my steering wheel should be somewhere here. Then the engine, my engine is about 800, uh, 850 millimeters. Yeah, it's, it's this long. So the engine is this long. So what I've done, um, I've taken approximately 50 because I'm making it to be this tractor is going to be from here to here, it's going to be about 80. And I don't want this tractor to be too long. So it's going to be up to here. The engine is going to start here with the mounting, but it, the engine is going to go even further out. But then you know the tractor always has that bumper there, so we're going to put that bumper that's in front of the tractor there. And then, so up to here is where the tractor is going to be ending. And then we have, the tires are as big as the ones for this vehicle, so there's going to be a tire this side, a tire that side, a tire here, a tire here. And um, I also have to figure out how wide I want my tractor to be. Um, I'm not going to make it too narrow, I'm going to widen the wheels a little bit, because my tractor's function could be, you know, working in the farm, like tilling and other stuff, but I'm mainly, because it's my first tractor, I was thinking that uh, I should design a tractor that is going to do much of the easier jobs. Like if you want to um, till the, the, the farm, if you want to spray the farm, so you want to go and spray. Or also you can use my tractor if you want to go and plant rice. Because I'm going to make a trailer and that trailer is going to have a, a, a rice planter. So it will just be planting rice in the farm. So you can use it on a rice farm for planting. You can use it on your farm for planting maybe soya if you want to and also you can use it for what? Transport. You can transport some of your little stuff. You can transport your stuff. You can have a trailer with uh, seats in there to transport your people on the farm. You can use it to move around the farm if you want to. So there will be like the small little jobs that you can do on the farm. You do use, use this tractor. 
after I finish this tractor and I'm feeling much more confident, I'm gonna now go and see how I can get the bigger gearbox, you know, for the tiller. You know, the big gear, gearbox that uses uh, that Amec engine, the big one, then I can build a bigger tractor. So I know in Tanzania, all the parts that I need, um, they, can, they, they, they come from there. Most of the people who are selling these parts here, they're buying from Tanzania. I just have to figure out how I can be going to Tanzania. Maybe I can be going with my car. I need to register my trailer. I can put the trailer, tow it, and then I can be going there to buy these gearboxes, the tires, the rims, and all those kind of things. And I'm gonna be building more of these vehicles. This one is using a, uh, what, is using a motorcycle engine. The next one is gonna use an Amec engine. So the big Amec engine, I'll put it there, and then I'll make it uh, like a, a utility, a big truck that can be used to you know when you're harvesting your mains and stuff like that and then I want to be building tractors and all those kind of things I just all those kind of things I just want to go the whole hog this time around because I don't want to play now anymore um, I've learned a big lesson by just having one type of business making cement block machines it has made my life very very difficult this year I need to diversify but also I need to unleash my intelligence because I'm not using all that all the intelligence that I have the only thing is that uh, it's very difficult when you don't have money to do these projects. But what I've been doing is I've been buying these things little by little. Like this tractor, I think I bought it two years ago. And the tires that I have, I bought it about three years ago. And then I bought a couple of engines that I have that um, I used to use for my generator that I'm keeping, that I'll use uh, for in the future. So yeah, like the diff for that uh, truck, I bought it almost four years ago. So I, I, I like to buy, I plan myself and I say, okay, I want to do something in the future, but I don't have the money, what must I do? I buy little by little. I go to the Chinese shop, I go to the Indian shop, and I tell them I want to lay by. Nowadays, lay by is difficult, but it, it was easy. In the past, it was much easier. So I just lay by, pay little by little. When I finish, I take it, I buy something else, and I keep like that. So. I buy these things very slowly because you know in Malawi it's very tough. I've, I've seen many people who are from overseas, they say, Ted, Ted, how? Why don't you just buy one time and do this time, this, 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 this? It's not easy in Malawi. It's not easy for you to do any project because one, to find the materials, two, to find the money to do that, it's very, very difficult. And in fact, even if I can make this tractor and finish and I ask people to put in some money, um, so that we can make more tractors. It's very difficult for people to have confidence in, uh, in you to put money in your business. But anyway, we will keep on being, doing it like this, little by little, and then until, when, until we get it right. Yeah, so this is what the mini tractor is. So if you've got any suggestions, you have ever worked with a, a project like this, there are so many people who are outside Malawi, overseas, they're working in workshops where they're making tractors. Did you ever work with this kind of uh, gearbox and convert it into a tractor? Please, I want to hear what you, uh, your ideas are. But yeah, this is how uh, I've been thinking all this time. You know, like um, trying to think outside the box and saying, how can I be a solution to the challenges that we're facing in our country? And uh, this is how I'm doing it. And now my wife has arranged the workshop and this workshop is looking very beautiful. I just want to take you around the workshop so that you must see how beautiful our workshop is looking. My wife has done some magic with the workshop. All right. As you can see, this is where we have the stairs that takes us up, going to the office at the top. But this whole area has been cleared. And as you can see, this vehicle is now standing uh, here. And they, they, we have enough space. This room here, this side, is also where we sit. Uh, I don't know, maybe I must just show you quickly. <laughs> and there she is, she, she relaxing. This is a kitchen for the workshop. So we're still working on trying to build a kitchen. And then uh, you can see the guys have arranged the, the welding room machines there. And there's enough room to walk around. Um, so I can walk around here and work with, at night, do my work. And over here, this is a, uh, a squat rack for my gym. Uh, you know, I've, I've been working out. I'm becoming lazy. I don't know why, but I was building a squat rack. And also, it's going to be for the bench when I'm doing bench pressing. Yeah, and then I'm busy working on a scooter. So that's where they do the project. Yeah, but this is how the workshop has been organized now. So we can move around easily. 
uh, we can uh, do some drill, um, some magnet drilling here with a magnetic drill press. And you can see my, some of my other projects. This electrical project, um, I've toasted the controller. So if you are outside Malawi and you can help me to get a controller, please, please, please just give me a shout. I'm going to pay for it. It's only that it's very difficult for us to get the money to buy these things. But yeah, I can walk around this side. Uh, if you want to work here to do some bending of the pipe, pipe bending, you're going to do the pipe bending. There's a bench here which can be used for other things. Uh, this is a jig for my truck, but I'm now using it as a, a, ta a table. You can also do some work there. As you can see, the mini lathe machine, we can do some, our mini lathe machining. And um, this band saw, I haven't used it because the saw that is here is a wood saw. If, if you are outside Malawi and you can help me to get to organize this um, uh, saw, blade, blade, saw blade, which is for steel, I will, be, I will really appreciate, guys. I will really appreciate. And this scooter is an idea that I saw on YouTube. It's called a Weeped. If you can go on YouTube and uh, Google or uh, search for Weeped, W-E-P-E-D, uh, it's a very nice scooter. I would like to build that scooter. Now you can see the wheelbarrows. Uh, Monica has been building wheelbarrows here. Um, we are struggling with the wheelbarrows to find tires, but now I've come up with another idea. So very soon I'm going to be launching a new wheelbarrow with a new type of tire. This tire is now available in town, so it won't be so difficult to make it, but it's, the tire is much bigger. So we have here this machine for, for cutting wood, very nice machine. And then we also got this one for sanding, um, when you're doing some sanding, and also when you're cutting steel, when you're cutting wood, and also when you're grinding. So yeah, this is the workshop now. Now from this angle, this is what you can see uh, how the workshop looks like. It's very, very, very nice. My wife did, did a great job here. All right. So that's it. This is gizmo machines. We are going to be manufacturing a lot of stuff here uh, very soon. So most of the times I'm sitting here in the workshop like now, I will be sitting looking at my, my little tractor and uh, coming up with some ideas. Yeah, so, all right. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got some suggestions that you would like to suggest, please feel free. And uh, so that we can hear uh, your side of how you, this can be built. It's, uh, sometimes you cannot always think of doing something yourself. But there might be some people who are, put, um, who are professionals who understand how these things work. For me, I'm just a daredevil. I just do it, you know, just like Nike. So thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be posting a video showing how I, I'm working on the, with this structure. So the first video is going to be like uh, part one and then I'll be doing in parts and series so that you can be able to follow through how this uh, tractor is being built. So thank you very much.